Okay, so I come under ASIS and push up to, to get my dominant eye over. He looks good there. Crest looks good. You can do acetabula if you want, but he's pretty good, so I wouldn't mess with it. Let's play like it's this right side that's anteriorly and inferiorly rotated. It's typically not anteriorly and inferiorly rotated as far as the SI joint. There's not much movement in there, and you wouldn't want there to be that much movement in there. Uh, so it's not really doing that. What it's doing is it's rotating, rotating around a vertical axis like that. Okay, so spring. This is a, a, just an easy, great test because you, the one that doesn't push down is, 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 is as hard as usually the one that's a little bit anteriorly and fairly rotated. And a lot of people are saying, what does it even matter? Let's just go for optimum. Who cares if it really matters? Let's just try to do, get them as good as possible. So let's say this right one is a problem. We're going to come in. Snake it in around like that. Come Distract, compress, distract, compress, distract, compress, internally rotate. When you come in like that, you're internally rotating the femur. So internal rotation, push your leg that way. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And take him into a little hip flexion and internal rotation. Or you can externally rotate, not as easy, but you can externally rotate. Hip flexion, external rotation. Internal rotation, hip flexion, internal rotation, etc. So that's Don Tigna. Basically, what you want to do is you want to leave them, the anterior ilium, distracted, pulled like that. That's posteriorly rotating that one that's anterior. Okay, the next one is the one that Paul demoed yesterday so well. He's already setting up for it because uh, he's got his uh, foot coming toward the midline. That's pretty key. Paul likes to come up with his uh, knee up here to stabilize. It's a good deal. I don't, I've just done it so long another way, I don't do that. I come in, and the key thing to making this thing work is don't get way out here on your arm, you know. Get way under like this so you have some leverage. And so then, it's just you've got to go on this angle, the plane of the sacroiliac joint. And so you're going posteriorly rotating that ilium and then dragging it along the this angle right here. Okay, pull that hip back or hip hike. He's just firing his quadratus lumborum, hip hiking. Three, four, five, and relax. And I and pull hip, hip, two, three, four, five, and relax. Jostle the joints, joints like the, the jostling. And it also helps suck up some of that uh, synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid and everything like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to do it the way that is, uh, it shows up in most of the books, and that's this way. We do have it in uh, Motion is Lotion, Paul doing it a different way. This is a traditional way of, of uh, getting the pubic symphysis. If the pubic symphysis is out, it's real hard for the other two joints of the pelvis to be in perfect alignment, and typically it's going to drop like that. And so you, you really got to, I see a lot of people, uh, even in school, I saw a lot of people adjusting uh, sacroiliac joint, but they never, would, they never included uh, pubic symphysis in their, in their work, and that's a, that's a big mistake, because so it's, it's simple. So. You can just come in like this and ask him to push real fast, real hard against your arms. And I'll rock him. Stop. Push hard. Okay, and Paul likes to spread the, the feet out a little bit. That's fine too. I'm not going to do that. Now just push and hold and lift your hips slowly. Just come on up. Keep firing. Mm hmm. And down. And so on. Go on one, one more time. Or it doesn't matter if you, if you want to put the feet out, you can't too. Okay, spread. What does this do? Yeah, opens up the SI joint. It also pulls those the femurs. He compresses them out of the, the acetabula. Okay, one more time, pull and relax. Okay, now lift your hips and pull. Good. All right. 